slow down a little bit. What, what, what were some of the issues that led for that? And I think it was the tail of definitely, like you said, the tail of two halves. I think in the first half, we had a bunch of very inexperienced guys out there that had not played very much football that the game was really fast for them. Uh, I mean, Cam Phillips got his first start tonight. He was going a little fast, missed a couple plays, ended up playing pretty well in the second half. Evan Fields gets his first start tonight this year. J.J. Wilson hadn't played in, in four weeks, and so I thought it was moving a little fast for him. I think a big, a big turning point was the, the first third down, it's third and six. We send a corner blitz that comes scot-free and hits uh, Herbert right in the back, and he bounces off. We, we underestimate how big and strong he is. And I think it let me change because uh, historically the last four or five games, when they go three and out, the first couple drives, they struggle. They got a little momentum on that first down, and then we did not tackle well in the first half. We, were, we, were getting, we weren't getting across blocks like we were in the second half early on in that first half. And then the, the last drive there, we have a third and four. We, call it, we have a screen. We have a pretty good defense for it, and we have them wrapped up, and they knock us off. We missed, we missed I mean, those, the, big, the missed tackles in the first half were huge. Uh, the second half, I mean, they, the, we got Merlin back. Merlin, I mean, he had six tackles. He was very productive in the half of football. He's a very special football player, and, and he's going to be really good over the next couple years here. Uh, the, we had a couple, I mean, the, the, our young DBs made some plays in the second half, as well as the corners. I mean, Cam Phillips gets an interception. I thought was going to, at that point, was going to be the one that won the game. I thought we were going to drive down like Michigan State and kick the field goal. Uh, that The momentum that we missed the two-point, we kick off and they drive it down. Or the pre, not the sorry the previous drive we score they they drive it they get a big kickoff return I thought that momentum hurt us a little bit and then on two consecutive plays we don't get across blocks we call two plays that should stone the running plays and and our nose guard doesn't get across and they pop them for about ten now we end up holding to a field goal and gave us a chance to get back in the game but I mean those are those are the difference between winning and losing and, and those are the difference between championships. We had our opportunity there at the end again on third and two, we jump off sides. We practiced that four or five times because they did pretty good at it. So we can't make those mistakes. You want to win championships, you can't make those mistakes. I thought they fought hard in the second half. I mean, I, it just, it's too bad. It seemed like during that, at the end of the first half when they were doing the touchdown, you were talking with Shari about something. What was the message there? I just thought we were way too soft. I mean, we had, we had a defense call that they shouldn't be able to run the fly sweep on that. And he was frustrated. He'd given up the pass right before that. They get a, they get vertical on him for, for 15 yards, and, and that is that is experience. That is a young man growing. I mean, he you have to be able to let those things go. And we've got a bunch of guys out there that they want to be so perfect. And, I mean, some of that's on me because, I mean, I hold them to a high standard. And I think they worry sometimes that they let me down, and, and he's got to just continue to grow. I mean, we're going to give up some plays, and that's okay, but we got to be better on the next one. And that was just a message that you got to let that go and fly up there and, and make the tackle and keep out of the end zone, holding the field goals and not touchdowns when we get down there. And we kind of, we still let big plays overcome us a little bit. I, 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 pressure you were getting on Herbert. Tonight. He's a big, strong kid. I mean, we, we had plenty of pressure. They, they did a couple of nice jobs. I mean, they had a slip screen early in the second half on a third and seven. That was uh, the referees missed a call, and they came over and said that they – Thought they might have, they might have missed it, and they picked Evan on that. Um, but I mean, they that stuff, that stuff happens. I thought we got pressure to him, I and mean, we only I think we only had one sack. But in the second half, he was very nervous back there. I mean, on third downs, he could throw the ball comfortably, and then we had DBs making plays, and that was that was the difference in them being able to move the ball. Was the success in the running game just what physicality issue, or just more of a schematic issue? Uh, it was it was we were not cross we weren't getting off blocks and cross the face, and then we didn't tackle with the darn in the first half. I uh, thought I mean, I, we're, we were, it was a combination of you had some guys out there that weren't used to tackling, sorry, weren't used to playing, that it was moving really fast, and they're not used to, I mean, the way in scout team, it's not the same. And as they got used to it, I mean, we had, like I said, we had four guys out there that started tonight, and it didn't, it took too long. It took, it took a whole half for them to get used to the tempo of the game. Completely different first half thing. I think they freaking torched us for like 360 in the first half. They had 85 yards in the second half. Yeah. And that, that's when these guys continue to get experience. We can do that the whole game, but we're not there yet. Just 
describe the frustration that you guys are so close and just can't find a way to push through any sort of tough losses? Yeah, I mean, it's it's gut to man. I mean, we have a chance to play for the championship if we can beat Arizona next week. We, we, I mean, we make the stop to get the, the three minute, and, and I think we caused four turnovers tonight, one of them on special teams. This guy's in the heart, it's gut wrenching. I mean, I thought I feel bad for the kids because, I mean, they just, we didn't make enough plays at the end. Jalen Bates, was he, was he hurt tonight? No, the guys in front of them were just playing better. So, if those guys want to play, they need to perform better in practice. And, uh, Jalen Bates is working tail off. George Lee is just playing a little bit better right now. Jermaine Zuole is playing a little bit better. It's all about productivity and making plays. And the guys that make plays are the ones that are going to play. Cam Phillips learned himself a spot tonight. Cam Phillips, I think, was the second leading tackler for two weeks in a row. Last week, he was the leading tackler. Maybe that's my fault. Maybe I should have been playing him a lot longer earlier in the season. But he's going to be a special player. I mean, we got a bunch of young ones that are going to be pretty good. They just, it's too bad for an opportunity for with a young group. Gut wrenching. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.